capable of dressing themselves well and <laughs> and being able to determine if something is swaggy or not. I have the key answer to debunk your entire argument. Give me it. Silent Spectre. Silent Spectre. That man knows how to dress. Okay. And he plays Green Falcon. Mm. Mm. Ergo, you are absolutely wrong. Here's the thing. Here's I would, I would <laughs> but ca counter argument. Counter argument. Objection. <laughs> yeah, objection, Your Honor. Yes. Pax Money was known uh, back in the day. But for he played pink. He played pink, right? Okay. But this is not Green Falcon. He played pink, white, pink Falcon. Um, and he was, at the time, called Hacks Money because he was in the shoe game business. I remember this. Right? So yes. he knows a little bit about swag, at least when it comes with shoes, and he did not play Green Falcon. So, so but he also didn't play Blood Falcon, which, which I feel doesn't really help your case. Well, it only helps my case in the fact that the one Falcon player that had a little bit of swag didn't play green. Okay. But, but Silent Spectre invented swag with Falcon, except for Isaiah. We're talking about play styles. I'm talking about aesthetics. Oh my goodness. Look, there's a re Okay, we're gonna have a, end up having a circular argument. This guy, Dadu. Uh, Dadu. Y'all heard of this guy, Dadu, though. I've, actually, seen, I've actually, seen him in Discord. You've seen him in Discord? Tell me about Dadu, Dadu. Dadu, can you... We, we need a third opinion because we're going in circles. Mm -hmm. We have... We need some kind of decisive... Actually, but the argument's going to be made if, if Dadu says he's in favor of one of us. We're just going to argue that he's either not aesthetic, he doesn't know his <laughs> his sense, or he just, he just doesn't know what he's talking about. True. And let, let's wrap this conversation up once we get Dadu's opinion, and then start focusing on this set. True, you're absolutely right. I get, I like segue so bad sometimes, I just lose track of the things. Oh, it's fine. Uh, some, sometimes it's not worth commentating a set, but right now we're in loser series yeah, and this with is two a pretty, good players. And this is a classic matchup. Sheik you're, Marth. You're right. You know, I like a uh, Marth's punish game and edge guarding ability on yeah. Sheik. Uh, however, I feel like Sheik just has some really good tools against Marth. And these grabs right here like this into forward air is solid. Oh, no. He says neutral is the best. Neutral's, neutral yeah, can, is... Can we get a ban on Dadu? Yeah, we're going to need to ban. <laughs> we're going to have to ban Dadu in the chat. Okay, yeah. Um, sorry, Dadu. No, no, no. Neutral is... Uh... <laughs> neutral is not the worst. It is certainly outranked by at least... Three so, Falcon so colors. Are we one hundred percent certain that it says Blood Falcon on the back? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It literally says like Blood Falcon. In vanilla melee. In vanilla melee. I mean okay. So that is on your side, which means he has no idea what he's talking about. Okay. <laughs> right. Exactly that. That's what I'm saying. It it really does say that. Oh jeez, man. Okay, it looks okay, but, like... But yeah, back to the match. Yeah, all right. So the Sheik just did a Marth Killer. Unfortunately, didn't really convert it to a kill. Um, definitely had the opportunity. Oh, oh this some extra credit right here. Yes. He was able to get back, and let's see how much percentage he can rack up. I really love those short hop down airs as Marth in neutral. Yes. Uh, let, let me tell you this. Yeah. It feels so good. Because it, it is, I don't think it's frame perfect for Marth to get the up tilt mm -hmm. out of the grab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so when you do get that up tilt, though, mm -hmm. like, you get so much damage on Sheik. Mm. It feels so good. It's the only, like, true, like, thing you can do if they don't DI correctly. Definitely should have grabbed. He went there for a neutral air trying to, uh, you know, read when he was going to drop shield. Can he get it right here? All right, this needs to be a really good stock by Trademark if he wants to take this first game. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised that the matchup actually got to this stage because... Oh, Tipper. Most people would say in this era, like, Marth is probably better on FD. And the Sheik? Well, better in that matchup in the, on that stage. Not necessarily better than Sheik. Uh, I don't know if Marth wins because of FD, but he... Is cap but Sheik has nowhere to land, you know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. And so Marth being able to keep Sheik in the air and juggle her really helps him a lot. Yeah, but Sheik, uh, does Sheik have a good tech chase on Marth? No, so Sheik, Sheik's um, down throw, no, Sheik can convert oh, he, oh, things. Oh, we have a character switch here on Pokemon Stadium. Oh, that's interesting. So, so Sheik, well, I guess we can talk about that more later. 
Um, this is an interesting This choice. is the classic matchup of Melee next yeah. to Fox Falcon. Uh, or Fox Falco. Uh, one of my favorite ones to play. Uh, the only thing is switching to Fox is really difficult, so let's see how the adjustment here between characters oh. comes. Oh, that was really good. Oh, missed the uh, conversion. Mm, the up tilt. So here is Fox, what I always like to try and do is just get Marth above me. If I can get Marth above me, I can get my up air chains going yes. and I can kill early. That's the bane of my existence. Uh, Fox can just, you know, up air Marth so many times. Yep, up tilt works really well. Yes. Um, but so what's the best way, you think, uh, for Fox to get grabbed so he can get his up throw going? So generally speaking, I tend to get grabbed the most in two situations. and it kind of boils down to rock, paper, scissors. If I'm in neutral with Fox, mm -hmm. I'm going to either try to down tilt or space fares. Yeah. Because that's generally the safest thing to do. Yep. Now, what Fox can do to respond to this is he can crouch cancel the down tilt yes. or, or the fair, mm -hmm. or he can spot he can uh, weave in and out of bait. neutral and bait out uh, a forward air to get the grab. Okay. Um, now, does drill grab work on Marth? So drill grab does work if he converts into a shine. So drill shine grab, drill shine grab. Yeah, yeah. When he, if he carries forward momentum. The one thing I've noticed about getting these drill shine grabs is Fox is if you're not able to get your wave shine uh, at a good enough lengthy angle, you're yeah. really not going to be able to convert off of it because SDI from Marth uh, will put him at such a far enough uh, distance away that a follow up from uh, Fox uh, at a not a max wave dash length is almost impossible. Yes. So if you if you do not uh, wave dash accordingly, um, it's going to be a bit more difficult because Marth kind of has this weird like mm, it, good short. Yeah, he gets sent farther in. Yeah, that was a really good short end. Um. All right, here we go. Kill moves are abound right now for Fox. An up smash, shine, wave dash, up smash, any kind of up throw uh, to up air. A good edge guard here, here will work. Ooh. Okay, so I would have jabbed right there. Yeah, the double jab there. Yeah, the double, the double jab would have been fantastic. Cross um, and shine. Yeah, no. Mm, couldn't, get, couldn't quite get down there. It wasn't a bad upbeat at that point. It's just all this could have been avoided. We're struggling here to kill each other. Ooh, nice. Which is surprising because Fox just has that kill power. Not as surprising for Marth. Um, yes. Because, and I actually really like it uh, when I'm Fox at a high percent. Because now I become a floaty with all the tools of Fox. Yes. Yeah, dying at 190 to Marth Porter does not feel good for Marth, but it gets the job done. Yeah. Unfortunately. And it evened up stocks in this case. This is definitely the Darth Maul. Qui-Gon Jinn moment. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We're just kind of waiting for it to end. Because if Marth goes in there, he could get uh, infinite. Yep. So he could get uh, shine against the wall. Uh, it's just drill, not shine, drill, drill shine, drill yeah. shine, drill you know, shine. Or, you know, short hop, nair shine. Yeah. Uh, but that, you know, it's actually fairly technical to get that, and a lot of people will mess it up if they're not top players or their tech skill just isn't there. The, the problem is if Marth goes down there, yep. like, you know, let's say he gets a grab, right? What's he, he gonna do? Yeah, he throws in the fox against a wall. The fox, the fox tech attacks the wall and then lands with a drill into a shine. You yeah. know, it's like mm -hmm. there's no gain there unless the fox is at a, a really high percent. Okay. And even then, it's not worth it. Trademark yeah. needed to be able to hit a ledge dash there because uh, that's really your best way to get up against uh, Mark on ledge. Yeah. Invincible ledge dash into shine grab uh, or just up smash. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten like up smash out of an invincible wave shine or invincible shine or invincible wave ledge dash. dash. Yeah, yeah, ledge dash. Yeah. yeah, it sucks. It's such a good tool for Fox. Fox is one of the best characters to do it. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, is when people complain about it, I'm like, okay, you get, you go ahead and get an invincible ledge dash in tournament. You know, so it's, it's not a. I wouldn't say it's cheesy. I would say that it's something that's earned uh, and just based on your technical skill. That's yeah. what I like about Fox. Um, I mean, no. the propensity to kill yourself is very high when you do that. It's a risk. I mean, we see hacks. Oh. oh. That was okay. a very interesting up B reversal. I mean, long story short, Marth got hit by the up B from Fox. I don't know if that was intentional, but he obviously needed up B to live. It was just in the right place at the right time. Mm. So is this not a best of five here? I 
don't think so. Oh, he's going.